Police are now storing the mutilated corpses of 170 cats and other animals in freezers as the hunt for the so-called Croydon cat killer continues. Cats are being discovered in the Croydon area in the South London area, decapitated, missing a paw, a tail, sometimes even their head. And what's even more shocking about this is the scale of this, James. We're being told that the number of suspected victims has quadrupled in the past six months. I'm 65, so I'm retired. Uh, where am I from? North London. Hence, that's why I'm a Spurs supporter. her. Um, Who sent you this? The police? From the, sorry? The police sent you this? No, the vets. Yeah, because right. the cat was found in the next road, thrown into a garden. Right. Just next road across yeah. the top. And an old man found it, he put it in a black bag. It had been out in the rain and that's, that's why it looks sort of like the state it's in. And um, he took it to the vets and the vets posted it. And said there was a cat missing, and then they asked, and we said, "Well, our cat's missing." So they got in touch with me, and uh, that's what they sent back. Yeah. Oh. <laughs> yeah, which is not very nice. Yeah, no. I didn't show my daughter because it's her cat, really. But you can see, no tail. It came from Crystal Palace. It was my daughter's cat. She, her, and her boyfriend wanted a cat, and uh, about eleven years ago, I think it was. I don't know the exact date. I can't remember, but. Yeah, so it was her cat as a kitten. Yeah. Yeah, yeah it's Crystal Palace somewhere it was, she went for it. Well, as I said, um, she was ill anyway, the cat. Um, so, because she's got a tumour, so we, we've been taking her to the vets and we, they, the diagnosis was that she wouldn't live long. So we, we were deciding about maybe we had to put her down which was, you know, a bit of a sad case, really. Um, so, how did I find out what? What happened to Well, we were keeping her in, but at the time, for a month, I had my daughter, my son and his girlfriend living here as well. Just for a month, in between, they were moving house. And on a Friday night at 12 o'clock, in error, she opened the door and let the cat out the front. So he could have only walked up the road and it was that next road where the cat was found in a garden the next day, well, Monday, I think it was. So, that was, uh, yeah. So she went missing, and my daughter posted this round to all the neighbours to see if anybody had found her, because, you know, she was ill. She wasn't going to survive long anyway. So that was the situation. So it was sad when she saw on Facebook, there's a, a vet, the New Morgan Vets have got a Facebook page, and they said a, a cat had been handed in and uh, we contacted them, and that is what we found or sent to us, yeah. Um, and of course I said straight away that, yes, that's our cat, yeah. What was you and your family's reaction? Well, disgusted, shocked, horrified at such an undignified way to go, because we were gonna have her put down within a few weeks. No, it was, it was terrible. Don't start me off. No, yeah, sorry. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, if caught, what do you think the killer's sentence oh, should be? You know, I don't need to say that. It's horrific because everyone, everybody will say the next stage could be human yes, beings. So, yeah, yeah. I don't need to say. Yeah.